When I think about choosing a pivotal moment of my youth, I think about signing up for the bassoon. Most people don't even choose the bassoon. Usually you're a clarinetist or a saxophone player in the school band, and one day a band director sends you home with a bassoon in your hands instead, and that's that. But I did my research. I knew that I was excited to be in band class, so I listened to and read articles about every wind instrument of the orchestra, not just the ones I knew. At the end of the day, I ended up liking bassoon because it was unusual. Even now in my professional life, I always try to listen broadly, and if I'm interested in something, I always go deep to learn more, because that's basically how I found my forever instrument. When I was in graduate school, one week we arrived at bassoon studio class, and our professor Christopher Millard opened the floor for questions about any topic. Naturally, one student asked, what is the meaning of life? And Millard just smiled to acknowledge and then moved on to talk about bassoon technique. But during a pause later on in the class, he actually answered the question, saying something to the effect of, life is about improving life for the people around you. It was so striking to me that he actually took the question seriously, and I carry that message around with me to this day. I never want to make music in a vacuum, I always try to stay aware of the many social connections that go into any given performance, and I try to work with a mindset of how can I improve someone else's life today. I will never forget my first concert with my wind quintet, Wind Sync, at Miller Outdoor Theater in Houston, Texas, where I live. It was very different from anything I had ever trained for. Moving around the stage, playing with amplification, performing chamber music memorized, the audience all spread out across the lawn in the park, and through this bombardment of new experiences, I was making mistakes and feeling very exposed. But afterward, when talking with audience members, I realized that no one had noticed I was uncomfortable. In fact, it was one of my best received concerts to date. Putting myself through that, and now continuing to perform in this way all across the world with WindSync, has revolutionized my opinion of what makes a concert event meaningful, which rules should be kept or broken, and even what makes a performance high quality.